As far as starting uh, the BC-8 to BC-35, uh, it uh, starts the same as it has for the past several years. We have a uh, pilot light system so that your uh, burners will light with just one pilot light lighting first. That way your burner room does not fill up with gas and then poof uh, when all the uh, uh, burners light, uh, you got that big poof. So you turn on the igniter while the gas on this needle nose valve is off. And when you turn on the, the gas, it only allows gas to go to the pilot light. And you hear it first, you can hear the buzzing sound, which the, is the electronic uh, igniter needle sparking between the two uh, needles. And then once it lights, you'll see the igniter light on the control panel light up. You'll also be able to see into the uh, burner room that one burner is lit and we'll take a closer look at that. For the sake of this video I'm going to open up the uh, front burner doorway which is closed by and uh, with two set, uh, thumb screws but I'm going to open up and I don't recommend you do this when roasting definitely not when roasting because it will affect airflow but just so you can see that uh, single burner lit there that's the igniter burner and then you can slowly turn on the front uh, valve needle gas valve on the roaster to light the burners and keep in mind you need adequate airflow usually about two or three on the manual damper maybe even a little more since I've got this open and now you can see all the burners lighting up. Now I want to show you just for practical purposes on the BC uh, 8. Uh, I don't know if I could do this, if it can be seen with the, yeah I guess it can be seen pretty good with the door closed. Uh, I'm going to turn it down. This is one kPa. This is a half a kPa. Now I've got the manual dial damper turned set to three because the amount of airflow will affect the way the burners look. I'm going to turn it down to a quarter uh, KPA and you can see most of the burners are barely lit except for the uh, ignite or the uh, pilot light burner it's it's going to maintain that same amount of gas because it runs through a separate gas line so there's at a quarter there's at a half well let me get back there was at a half there's at three-fourths there's at one KPA one and a half kPa, two kPa, two and a half kPa, three kPa, three and a half kPa, and four kPa. So you can see how powerful the burners are at four kPa. Now keep in mind this is an LPG uh, roaster, in other words a propane roaster. If you were roasting with natural gas, the flame would look different and the pressure would be dramatically lower. In a setup where you've got seven water column, your KPA would never go past one and a half to one and three fourths um, KPA. So your burners would look different, the flame would look a little bit different, and uh, you would definitely not get the pressure you have. But we just wanted you to see that because if down the road you notice your burners are having issues uh, keeping that kind of flame, there's a very good chance that you need to clean the burners by taking the uh, stem and the diffuser off and cleaning the uh, orifices. After maybe four or five years you may need to replace the orifices and you may even need even a little, little farther down the road depending on how well you cared for the burner system and kept it clean you may need to replace the uh, diffusers and the stem of the burner itself so we're going to let that preheat for a couple minutes and then we're going to show you a few other things